Hi, this is Bill from bizwithbill.com, or on the website later. Um, and uh, as I've gotten into my, well, let's call it semi-retired years, you could see a little gray up there. As I've gotten into my semi-retired years, I still am looking for ways to continue to bring in some, well, shall we say, additional streams of revenue, which is the fancy way of saying making more money. <laughs> and as I do that, I talk to friends and uh, people who are in a similar situation as mine about what I'm doing and how it's going and, you know, is there something they can do to get involved with that? So what is my situation? Well, briefly, semi-retired. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm of that age. And uh, while the uh, Social Security check is nice every month, it's not nearly enough to support my lavish lifestyle. And I use that completely as a joke. But so I have a couple of other things that I do. I do some blog writing for a friend and, and a couple of other online business things uh, just to kind of, A, keep some money coming in and B, stay a little busy because, well, you know, those of us who've taken reasonable care of ourselves and gotten to this point of retirement, we're still got a lot of life in us. So anyway, I guess what I'm saying is uh, that I'm just looking to stay busy and looking to continue to help people. And this is one of the ways that I'm doing it with this video and others that I will be putting out. So as I mentioned, things are, well, honestly, pretty crazy out there. <laughs> I don't know if you read the headlines or watch the news. I try to watch as little TV news as possible, but I, I do keep up with things. Inflation and prices and the economy and layoffs and crazy stuff like that. Of course, if you're retired, the layoffs don't really affect you. But if you are still living and buying groceries and driving your car, well, crazy inflation is still a thing. And the money that you made from your 401k or social security or whatever for a couple of years ago probably doesn't go just as well as it had in time gone by. So it might be, well, you know, time to make a few more dollars and put a few more dollars into your pocket and your family's finances and all of that sort of thing. But I love this particular quote, which is, you can only save what you earn, but you can always make more money. What does that mean? Well, back when you were working a nine to five, 40 hour a week job, assuming that's what you did, of course, you got the paycheck every two weeks or whatever it was, and it was a certain amount and you paid your bills, you paid your rent and gas and food and insurance and all of that stuff. And when it was over, hopefully you still had some money to save. Well, that, of course, is you can only save what you have after you've paid your expenses, but you can also increase the amount of money coming in and hopefully put a little bit more of it to work. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And that is something about, well, you know, what can you do? <laughs> How does it make more money if that's what you're looking to do? It. The answer, I believe, for a lot of people is some kind of home-based business or work-from-home plan, okay? There's a million, that might be a small number, a million of them out there. Have you looked around at all? Have you Googled things at all? Have you checked on, you know, various ways to make additional money? I'm not talking about driving people around in your car with Uber, you can do that, but that's just trading time for money, the same thing that you did when you were working your nine to five job. And honestly, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun to me, although I do have to say that I've done it. I'm not going to say that, you know, but all right, I've done it. I didn't like it. It's not very efficient. And again, you're still, like I said, trading time for money. You have to put in the time and you get a amount of money and all of that sort of thing. Fine, but not for everybody, especially if you don't want strangers in your car, for example. <laughs> okay, so if you've looked online or if you've ever tried to Google some of this stuff, there's a tool out there that Google has called Google Trends, T-R-E-N-D-S, Google Trends. And it shows you how search, things that people have searched for have gone over time. So like, you know, Taylor Swift is doing a new concert series out there. If you Google, if you go to Google Trends and you put in Taylor Swift, you'll see that the interest in people searching for things about her and her concert tour and whatever are off the charts. Okay, I get it. That's fine. Some things come and go, you know, um, 
news, things that happen in the news or whatever will show up and spike and then they'll fall off as it's not so popular anymore. Well, why do I say that? If you go to Google Trends, you can try it if you'd like, uh, and put in a search term like work from home or a home-based business, you're going to find that that's a term or a, the terms relating to it have had steady, consistent, high interest for years. Years. People have been looking for this sort of thing. And it probably, I mean, does it go back to the pandemic times? Probably. It's probably before that, in fact. But it certainly started when we were all under lockdown and had to stay at home. And some people lost their jobs and some people wanted to find additional ways to make money while they were at home. So this whole work from home or home-based business thing, it's big, it's getting bigger, and it's not going anywhere. So maybe that's what you're thinking of. Now, for me, like I said, I don't want to be driving people around in my car doing food delivery or people delivery with Uber or whatever. But there are other options out there that you can do, and some of them are these home-based businesses. So, you know, one of the big, big, big things out there is a section of the market called e-learning. What is that? Online learning. That means you can take classes. You can learn to do things. You want to, I don't know, learn to cook Chinese food in your spare time. That's something that I'm really interested in. Uh, you want to learn to cook Chinese food or the perfect pizza or the perfect backyard barbecue grill. You can look it up, usually on YouTube, but other sources as well, and find thousands and thousands of videos and instructional content on how to do what you want to do. So, yes, a lot of that is free. A lot of that is out there. But also, if you wanted to dig a little deeper, you can find people creating paid for online classes that will teach you to do specific things and develop specific skills. Like, let's take my Chinese cooking thing, for example. Yes, I can look on YouTube and find tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of videos on how to make the perfect stir-fried rice. Trust me, I've done it. But you can also probably go to some of these online e-learning kinds of places that will show you how to do something step by step in a specific process, teach you the whole beginning to end thing, and do it in a way that it's like, oh, I can now I can do this. I'm learning how to do this. And it's just like taking a class if you went to your local community college or, you know, night school or something like that or online class. And those people charge money for that. And thousands of people pay to learn those kinds of skills online. Hence the whole e-learning thing, right? So to say that that's a big market is an understatement. I don't think you can put a price tag on how big the e-learning segment of business is these days. Even guys as big as Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi, that's, I, I just follow Tony Robbins, so I know a couple of names there. Guy, Brendan Burchard, all of those guys in the personal development and business development space, they have their own online classes on how to do a million different things, you know, create a business, start a bit mindset stuff, how to be healthy, how to save money, how to invest in the stock. It's all out there. Now, if you have an expertise with something, playing golf, playing pickleball, one of my passions, playing pickleball, cooking, knitting, car repair, whatever, if you have a, a passion and some knowledge and a little bit of skill with that, and you like to share that knowledge, you know, maybe your friends come to you and ask you, hey, how do I, you know, do this thing? How do I plant the perfect garden? Your garden is great. How do I get a garden like yours? Okay. If you have that something, and again, whatever it is that you're interested in, it doesn't matter. Trust me. There are people out there online who want to learn what you already know. That's the whole e-learning thing, right? That's the whole, you know, if you can have some, if you have some expertise, some level of competence, <laughs> some skills, some experience, some wisdom in anything, anything, you can create a class or 
um, a program or even just a book that you print and sell online and you can make some money from it, right? So that's a way of creating an online business, a work from home business that does not require you to trade dollars for hours. Why is that? Um, why is that so important? Why is the trading dollars for hours, dollars for hours thing, what you want to avoid, right? So again, I would say like, there's only so many hours in a day. And uh, if you're still working, and I know a lot of people who are watching this are going to still be in the working world, and that that's cool. Um, it doesn't matter if you have a regular job that you work, or even if you're retired in your home, there's only so many hours in the day. So you have the restriction of if you're going to be out there doing the thing and getting paid X number of dollars per hour to do that thing, well, you can only do it for so many hours. But, but if you create something online and you sell it this way online, all right, once you create that video, once you do one video, this video on how to make the perfect stir fry, or how to plant the perfect garden, or whatever, it's done. You've done it, it's complete, and now you can sell it over and over and over and over with that much zero additional work. See where I'm going with this? Once you create a product, a, 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 a book, a video, a class, an e-learning bit of content, you can sell it as many times as somebody can click a mouse on the internet somewhere. And you can sell it to somebody who lives across the street from you, or you can sell it from somebody who lives across the planet from you. It doesn't matter. And 24 seven, by the way, it's always for sale, right? And you do that through various websites. You've probably seen all kinds of, we'll get into that. I'll talk about that in a minute. So anyway, that's what you can do, right? So the question becomes, well, what do I, what do I teach? What do I, and I was just talking about that. You can teach things that you know, and if you have a skill and you have something like that, you can put together a video or a book or whatever and sell it. If you make something, I know people who, uh, I don't know, take, for example, somebody who does woodworking or, or knitting, for gosh sakes, you could create and sell those products. Again, you're limited by the time factor. If I'm actually making something, a physical thing, it's going to take me the time to make that. And no matter how much I sell it for, I can only sell it one time, right? Unless you open a factory somewhere or, <laughs> or have it mass produced in China and that I, I digress. All right. So you can do that sort of thing. To me, the e-learning thing that you make one time and sell over and over and over again, a way better model of doing that, okay? Now, having said that, I might be a little bit ahead of myself, but having said that, what if somebody says, that's great, I love that idea, but I don't have any particularly great skill. <laughs> I was, my job didn't require me to have any great skill or wisdom or knowledge or whatever, it was just a job. Okay, I get that. You can sell other people's stuff. Really? How does that work? Well, I don't know. Just think of it this way. How about, you know, I go to um, a garage sale and somebody is selling some cool stuff because their, you know, houses, they're closing their house or they're moving or whatever, and they're selling their stuff and you buy their stuff at a great price. And then you go home and you have a garage sale and you mark it all up a couple of dollars and you make some money by the stuff that you bought the other day and now you sold it for more money. And congratulations, you've just hit on exactly what Walmart does and what Amazon does and what everybody else does because Amazon doesn't make anything. Walmart doesn't build the clothes that they sell or the food that they sell or the beer that they sell. No, they buy it from somebody for one price and they sell it for another. And in between, they make some money on it. Wow. And in, in my business, you know, that's called affiliate marketing. I'll get out of the way. Affiliate marketing. That means you are an affiliate. You are, you have a business relationship with a company that sells something. 
And if you've looked at all for business ideas online, one of the big ones is, is Amazon. Amazon will pay you to bring them customers. So if you tell a friend or you, a friend comes over to your house and says, wow, that's a cool new TV. And you go, yeah, I just bought it on Amazon. Got a great price. And they go, oh, I want one of those. And you go, cool. Here, go to Amazon, to this website and, and buy it. And if you do it properly, you are an affiliate of Amazon. Amazon will pay you a percentage of the sale because you brought them the customer. Pretty cool, huh? Never heard of that, you say? Oh, sure you have. <laughs> Everybody does it. Walmart does it. Tesla does it. Uh, every bank that you've ever seen probably, you know, hey, refer a friend and get $25 to, credited to your account. Those are affiliate programs, just by any other name. Partner programs, affiliate programs, uh, you, you name it. That's what they're called, okay? It's an affiliate program, and that's how it works, okay? So I'm going to suggest to you that if you don't know or have any particular skill or anything that you feel is sellable, that's okay. You can become an affiliate marketer, find a product or a service that you like, or maybe you've used yourself, and then you can sell that to others. We'll talk about how in just a moment, okay? So it's a great idea. It has some complexities. Complexities. Especially for people of, again, my age, push back that gray hair, my age who didn't come up as a young person in the age of computers and social media and smartphones and all of that, that you might think to yourself, boy, there's a million things to do here. It's complex. It's, there's a lot to figure out. There's a lot of moving parts. And I just, yeah, I can't fathom how I would do that. And you're right. There are a lot of moving parts. There's a lot to, there's a lot to put together, okay? But, <laughs> big but, think about McDonald's or any other fast food restaurant, but, you know, McDonald's is a great example. They can take a teenager off the street, hire that kid, and in a couple of hours, have them doing the job. And how do they do that? Well, they have a system of training and standardization and breaking things down into the smallest parts so that people can pick things up easily and then run with it. Right? I mean, basically, that's just how it works in the business world. The easier you can make it for somebody to learn the job, then the better that is for you, the business owner, because you're not spending a ton of time training people and you can crank out a good, solid, repeatable uh, uh, product no matter where you're at. You know, it doesn't matter if your McDonald's is in, is in Cleveland or Key West. It doesn't matter that you can have a system whereby somebody can go, oh, okay, I can do this, this, and this, and it turns out the same cheeseburger no matter where you're at. Okay, and, and that's the whole idea. So I'm going to suggest that you, if you're interested in this, look for a place where you can get these things. Get things like, how do I do it? Training. Get things like a support. When I have a question, can I get help with it? All right. And a community of people to say, all right, everybody, we're all doing this thing together. We're all learning how to make the same cheeseburger. <laughs> or in this case, we're learning how to do an online business and we can support each other. We can, there's training, there's all of that stuff that we can do to make sure that we're all getting ahead with this, that we're all moving forward with this, right? Can you do it? Yes. Can you do it? Absolutely. Because there are a ton of places out there that will offer you this kind of community training support and all that sort of thing. So even if you know nothing, know nothing about creating an online business, you can still do it because there's help and training out there to do it, right? I mean, what I tell folks is, look, you're, you're on... You're on the computer right now. You're watching this on your phone. You're watching this on your laptop. You're watching this on your iPad, whatever. You already know how to get around on a computer. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody does nowadays. Um, you know, 
All right, yeah, don't, don't start hitting me up with these special cases. Pretty much everybody knows how to get themselves around on a computer and get online. You're on Facebook, you're on YouTube, you're on TikTok, all that stuff. I get it, all right? So there's a ton of different ways that you can do this. And I would suggest that if this is something you are interested in, you find somewhere that has this kind of community support, training, et cetera, that will let you go from zero to, I know what I'm doing in the shortest time possible. Again, think of that McDonald's employee, right? That, you know, you're not here to, you know, become the next Jeff Bezos or whatever. You just want to make a few bucks with this and find people that can help you to do that. Okay. So all of this leads me to the idea of, you know, you're not getting any younger. <laughs> I'm not getting any younger. Uh, the world is continuing to be crazy out there. And there's a lot of, well, I think there's a lot more craziness to come. I mean, I just do. I, I, I don't have any better answer for you than that. So what I'm going to suggest is this. If this is something you're interested in, I've got some ideas on that. I, I, I can help you with that. Uh, there's some things that you can do, some things that you can investigate on your own. I am affiliated with one of the programs online out there that will help to teach you to do the things that you can do to create an extra stream of income. I, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of that term, but some additional money in your life, right? Some extra money in your life. So what does that look like? Well, probably running out of time for today. I'm sure I've you know kept you long enough and I appreciate you hanging out here. But if you would like, I would recommend you go back and check on that website of mine at bizwithbill.com. Let me roll that back. There we go. Bizwithbill.com. And it'll be down below in the comments as well where you can check it out. There are a lot of opportunities out there. Some of them take substantial work. Some of them don't take much work at all. This one has some really good plans in place to help you to get up to speed. The, the affiliate program that I am thinking of and that I would like to suggest you take a look at, okay? Uh, it has a community of more than 2,000 people all supporting each other. It has all kinds of things that you can do. And one of the important things that I think is, um, that gets in the way of a lot of people, again, is what am I going to be selling? Well, we have that. How am I going to sell it? We'll teach you that. Is it really hard? No, you can put in an hour or two a day and be successful with it. And all of the other pieces, you know, how to do the marketing, how to get in touch with people, how to, you know, all of it. It's all covered in this one, one compact program. So again, if you're interested, bizwithbill.com. It's right there on the homepage. If you have questions or comments or you'd like more information, drop a comment right here and, and I'll get in touch. It's no, no problem. <laughs> I'm trying to help people to get through some of these crazy times and to generate a little bit more income for themselves. What you do with the money is up to you. Go on vacation. Take the grandkids out for ice cream. I don't care. Just do it and see what you can do for yourself. You might have fun. You never know. I know I am. All right, that's it for now. Again, head on over to Biz with Bill. We'll talk again soon. Take care.